Uh, this is a um, typical wind healing problem. Uh, we're given displacement, kg draft, the windage area, the centroid, um, and we're to construct a writing moment curve using the KN tables. And from the curve, we needed to calculate or just read off the angle of heel due to a steady wind and then a gusting wind 50% increase. So note it's a writing moment curve. We, we proceed the same way. We go into the KN tables at the angles 12, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Read off the KN values for 16,000 tonnes. KG sine theta, subtract that from the KN and that gives us the GZ. Now, if you had just used these values, the curve would be exactly the same but they've specifically asked for a writing moment curve. So what you have to do is multiply the GZ by the displacement. Remember moment, writing moments, moments of statical stability are GZ times displacement. So 16,000 times 0.4 would give you 640. And do the same for all the GZ values and therefore that will give you your writing moment values. Once you've got those, you can now draw the writing moment curve. So I've got one here that I've drawn, there's my writing moment curve. So the y-axis are the writing moments and the x-axis are the angle of heel. What we need, now need to do is calculate the values of writing moments for the steady wind and the gusting wind to read off the angles of heel. So the wind force is 48.5, windage area 5160, the distance of the centroid of the windage area from half the draft, it's always from half the draft, is the 10.3 plus half the draft 3.7, so that's 14. So the steady wind healing moment will be the force times the windage area times the centroid, and we divide that by a thousand, and that will give us the value in tonometers. So we've ended up with 3504. So we would go into the onto the curve at 3504 come across, come down, and we can see that the angle of heel would be 20 degrees. The latter part is very straightforward. The gusting wind is simply the steady wind, 3504, times 1 1.5, 5256. We go to the uh, y-axis again at 5256, go across, come down, and we can see that the angle of heel would be 28 degrees. So that's what I calculated on these 20 and 28 degrees. So that's a typical wind healing problem, but be careful you have to plot so that you've got writing at moments. And it's very straightforward. Once you've got the GZ, simply multiply those values by the displacement of the vessel.